the World's News Theatre in Shaftesbury Avenue, London. They are going to have others in Europe, but as yet there is only the one done. This is the man at the entrance who sees that a queue is waiting, although as a matter of eyesight there are plenty of people vacating. This is the genial manager who smiles when it's shilling only. And this is the girl in the box who watches for coins that are phony. This is the way upstairs for your scotch or you've only got sixpence. And this is the girl with the torch who can see in the dark. That's a sixth sense. Here is the screen with me on it. The rhymes are a little bit shaky. And don't blame me for my makeup. It's probably thick and flaky. This is the movie tone office, where they work for your tanner or bob. And here is the movie tone outfit, off and away on a job. This is the well-equipped studio in Newman Street, W1. And they're making a picture of me, which you'll now see when it's done. This is the cameraman, whose job is to shoot without killing. And this is the sound engineer, who takes down your voice, if you're willing. This is the film when it's finished. The line down the side is the soundtrack. But when my lips move in this picture, the sound is up here. So you can't back. The next man to meet is the cutter, whose duties are very responsible. He cuts out the bad bits of films and blacks out the rude monosyllable. And so, for the small sum of sixpence, we lay all the world at your feet. The big politicians, the Prince of Wales's missions, the thrills of the skies, the schemes of the wise, the depths of the ocean, the childish emotion, the sports of the masses, the games of the classes, and also yourselves as an audience to make your acquaintance complete. And now, to conclude my performance, as we never do things here by half, I introduce to you the editor and most of the movie tone staff. That so, when you smile at the manager and put down your sixpence, or Bob, you'll think of the movie tone fellows off and away on the job. <laughs>